Now, while the suspension links are off at the powder coaters, I thought I'd tackle the rust on the bulkhead here. As thousands of Alpha Suds have rusted away, it's vital I stop the corrosion on ours now. It's on with the safety glasses, and I start to remove the loose paint and rust with a belt sander, so I can see just how bad the hole really is. Right, so now I've found where the good metal is, I can now cut all the nasty stuff out. For this, I use a one mil cutting disc in an angle grinder. Here's a top tip. A clever way to make a quick template for the new metal patch is to place a piece of masking tape over the hole and then rub dirty fingers around the edges of the hole, leaving a mark, which can then be used to cut out a new matching piece of steel. And to save myself some time and also to save material, I'm actually putting one of the long edges, the straightest one, actually on the existing straight edge of my steel and also using the same again for one of the other edges. So that means I only have to cut two edges. Once the new section of steel has been cut out, I use welding magnets to hold the patch in place and then tack the metal in with a MIG welder. At a professional body shop, this fix could have cost a few quid, but I've done it all for the price of a small piece of sheet steel, just a few pennies. Now, normally, if you're welding anywhere near the floor or a bulkhead firewall, that sort of thing, you've got to be so careful there isn't carpet or sound deadening on the other side. Otherwise, of course, it could catch on fire. So what I would normally recommend is get somebody in there with a fire extinguisher just in case the worst happens. But in this case, there's actually a cavity between this bit of metal here and inside, so we should be fine. 